what's up y'all it's your girl Bree styles and i'm back with another video and today's topic is heavyweight champ heavyweight champ listen god put me in the mind of floyd mayweather right and he was just like Holy spirit was like just think about how floyd mayweather kids were in school like like people knowing that they are floyd mayweather's kids and nobody wanting to fight them right nobody wanted to come against them or nobody wanted to you know what i'm saying even approach them in a fighting way right just off the strength of they daddy's name right and god just like let me be your heavyweight champ thank you holy spirit god is like let me be the one who fights for you now i know i'm not the only one that have a urge to defend myself to, to 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 speak up for myself or to say something when you see somebody flogging a line or trying to come against you or betraying you your friends you thought you was your friends you want to set them straight you want to tear them off but god said let me be your heavyweight champ not just a boxer in a ring not just somebody who fights for you but i want to be your heavy weight champ y'all it's so easy for us to get caught up in what the enemy is doing and he's trying to knock us off our square he's trying to distract us as much as he possibly can to get us away from focusing on what god wants us to focus on right and i'm just like but god do you see this do you see that he like i see but I need you to shut up. I need you to be quiet and I need you to let me fight this battle. And I don't know who this is for, but you putting on them boxing gloves is only putting you in the ring by yourself. Yes, you got an opponent. And your opponent is always the enemy. It's never people. It's never people. You're not fighting people. You're fighting the spirits in those people. So you always fight against the enemy. But I'm going to tell you this. Like Holy Spirit showed me, when you get in that ring, the enemy don't play fair. He coming from behind. He, he grimy. He's sneaky. He's watching you. He's, 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 oh my God. He's studying you. As a matter of fact, he have, he's studied you all your life. He's learning you. He's learning your patterns. What triggers you? And when the enemy find out what triggers you, he gonna pull the trigger every time he coming. Bop, bop, bop. He, he coming. Because that's how he play. But see, when you get in a ring with him by yourself, I mean, you can swing. You might hit him a couple times. You can throw a couple scriptures at him. You can, you can do all that. But baby, he coming different. He coming from behind 10 times out of 10. He coming when you ain't looking. He coming when you least expect it. But see, when you got the heavyweight champ fighting for you, and you get to sit in the crowd and you just watch. Oh, my daddy. Ooh, my daddy. He, ooh, daddy. He ain't had to do him like, ooh. It hit different, right? Not to say, oh, I want to see my enemies beat up or I want to see something happen to them. No. It's the spirit in them. It's the spirit in them that's coming against you. That's coming against your peace. That's coming against your growth. That's coming against you becoming a person that God has created you to be. That is all the enemy is afraid of. The enemy is scared that you're going to mess around and become who God called you to be. He is scared that you're going to mess around and see yourself how God sees you. So he want to keep distracting you. God is like, focus on me, daughter. Focus on me, son. And the enemy like, hey. It's real. 
it's real but i'm here to tell you today that you serve a heavyweight champ and i got scripture to bag it up baby i haven't really got me some word baby let me get this word let me bag it up with some word Isaiah 42 and 13 says, The Lord will march out like a champion, like a warrior. He will stir up his zeal with a shout. He will raise the battle cry and will triumph over his enemies. Let me be the first to tell you, your enemies are God's enemies. God's enemies are your enemies. When he fight for you, all oh, hell got to back up. But when you fight for yourself, just imagine you in a ring with a thousand demons. You can't see them. This is you in a natural day in the spirit. You can't see them, but they hitting you left and right. They know your weak points. They know how, they know you. They've studied you. Why not let God fight for you, right? Exodus 14 and 14 says, The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. Deuteronomy 3 and 22 says, You must not fear them, for the Lord your God himself fights for you. This is the word, y'all. The word, the word can, can, can't lie. God cannot lie. He's not a man that he shall lie. Nor the son of man that he shall repent. Right? And if we are created in his image, then we must be champions, right? We 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 claim we got the victory. We claim that every time everything, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Everybody like to quote that. And it's true. But you can be the weapon formed against yourself when you get in that ring with the enemy thinking you finna win. When you put them boxing gloves on thinking, oh, I can hit them like this, or I can and you can have straight facts. You can have proof. You can have the screenshots. You can have the voice message. You can have facts. But God said, let me be your heavyweight champ. Let me fight your battle. Hallelujah. God, I give you the glory today. Thank you for everybody watching this video right now, God. If you know you are, you if you know you serve a heavyweight champ, I dare you to drop in the comments. The champ is here. The champ is here. The champ is here. The champ is here. Now I can sit back. I can get my popcorn. Baby, I can get comfortable. Because when my daddy fight for me, when my daddy walk in the room, things got to shift. We coming out with the belt. I'm just, I'm just trying to size myself. Let me go ahead and get my measurements. Okay, because I know we coming out with the belt. I know the belt is already mine. Right? Let him fight for you. And I want to give y'all three characteristics. I said three. Three characteristics <laughs> of a champion, right? Number one, champions are highly motivated and committed. Right? Champions are highly motivated and committed. When you find yourself in a fight and you find yourself in a ring with the devil, he's coming for your commitment and he's coming for your motivation. The devil is always coming for the opposite of what God wants for us, y'all. He's coming to knock you off your square. Number two, Champions have a striking ability to focus and consecrate. Listen, it is so crazy. My friend, I have a friend that's in the boxing industry, right? And he always tell me like, man, my coach pushed me today. Man, my coach won't go. Man, my coach, he did da 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 Like, and it's like it, it makes him want to fight more. Like, and he, he always brag about how it burns and how he make them keep hitting the bag. Like, they do however many reps, but he, 
like soon as he about to be done with the reps that his coach told him to do, his coach said, give me 30 more, give me 20 more. You can do it. Like he pushing past his limits, right? That is a characteristic of a champ. When champs are in training, you got to know how to be focused and how to consecrate yourself, right? Number three, champions have the ability to handle stress during training. You got to be able to, you got to be able to rock with it, lean with it, rock with it. It's going to come up against you. People are going to come up against you. People don't, spirits, I'm going to say spirits, because we don't even want to give people too much credit. Spirits are going to come up against you. They, a lot of spirits don't want to see you reach your potential. They see your potential, but they don't want you to reach it fully. They don't want you to fully burst into that thing. So things are going to come. Dots, fiery dots are going to come. And that's why we got to put on our full armor, y'all. If you don't know what the armor of God is, I need you to go read your word. I need you to I need you to find it. What is the armor of God? How do you put on the full armor of God? God said put on the helmet of salvation to protect your mind. The breastplate of righteousness. The shield of faith. To protect yourself from all the fiery darts sent from the enemy. God, y'all, we have... Mm, I'm going deep, Holy Spirit. And it's like a whole nother subject. But I gotta say, we have equipment to protect us from the enemy. If you find yourself in that ring without your armor on, baby, you done for and I did say done for. You are done for. Because the enemy, he don't play for it. Remember, if you don't remember nothing else I said, remember, he has been studying you. He knows your weaknesses. And he gonna make sure he hit them soft points every single time. He gonna make, he's crafty. Okay? He don't play for so before you get your little cute self in that ring and put your gloves on, on top of your nails, thinking that you can fight this demon, think again. Think again. Drop your weapons. I command you today. I don't know who this is for. I command you today to drop your weapons. Let the Lord fight for you. And watch you come out victorious every single time every single time listen if y'all are enjoying these videos that i'm creating the content that i'm putting out listen like comment subscribe to this video my mentor have been telling me to say this on my videos because not because i need likes and nothing like that but every time you like i did not know this y'all every time you like a video on youtube it draws other people to the video so if you was drawn to this video and it helped you like this video comment on this video so that other people who need to hear this can hear this listen i love y'all i mean it you got this you are not the one to fight this battle let god fight for you and you'll come out with the victory every time. Y'all be blessed.